All right, good people. It is another day down here at the Red Brick House, and it was a good day. We actually ended up doing the NFL schedule release show um, here at the Red Brick House. This is our second live stream that we've done, and now we brought Philly 500 in here, and I think the ghosts are scared. But here's what's kind of crazy is, um, well, actually, I I'm truly falling in love with this place, okay? The, the light fixtures. Look at this. Okay, the light fixtures and the lighting and everything else. When we get the railings and stuff in here, get my studio set up in there in the corner, get all the walls spackled and everything else, this is going to be nice. Now, see how different it looks without the ambient lighting on the outside, but check it out. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Um, Philly 500. Okay. Going through the schedule, um, the way I looked at it, I think the Cowboys could go 13-4, and four, but I kind of put, you know, a couple games. You're always going to lose some games that you don't expect. You're going to win some. Right. You're going to win some that you're not expecting to, and then you have the Commanders the last game of the season, which could be a game that might be like last year that, that's meaningless, in which case – you know, they're resting people for playoffs. So I think 12-5 and five is a good possibility if the team stays healthy. 13-4 and four could be if things go right. Some of the teams that you look at right now that are good um, from last year might not be this year. Some teams that were bad last year might be good this year. So you just don't really know. But I will say that Philly 500 is on crack. He's got him going 15 and 15 and 15 and two, 15 and two. Now I'm gonna say I, I want you guys to. I don't know about that. Well, week one, so the retiring Tom, so the ghost of Tom Brady. Yeah, week one. But but here's the thing. Here's here's where it's crazy. Let me send a message here to you Eagle fans, okay? I don't understand how it is. First of all, Philly 500 on a daily basis, whenever he does a video about the Cowboys, will send me the link and say, balls in your court. As in, respond to it. Let's do this shit. And Eagle fans, you guys come on my channel constantly commenting. If I say anything about the Eagles, oh, he's always talking about the Eagles. You guys are always calling me out to talk about you. You're literally on my channel. Would you like me to ignore you? Would you like me to ignore you? And if you're going to say stupid shit like we're going 15 and 2, and, and the funniest part about it was he was going through the first five games. Oh, we're easily 5 and 0. Oh. This is the NFL. There's no such thing as easy. You remember the Bears game? Jalen Hurst throws two picks, and you had to come from behind at the last second with the run up the middle to win? Do you remember the Colts game? Same scenario. The Colts. The Colts. A team we blew out like 54 to something like that. But, but hold up. Here's the thing. Football is crazy. It's crazy. Oh, and here's what I really love, too. When Philly was asked on his channel about Dak Prescott putting 40 burgers on him, he never answered the question. What he did was, well, look at, hold it. Is he in a restaurant? Jimmy, look, oh, what the hell? Look at this hoodie. No, that, that, that's his kitchen. That might you be, see the hood up here? That might be his kitchen. Damn. Man. That's like a commercial hood up in there. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that's like his kitchen. He never answered the question. Never answered it. Never. All he did was, well, we went to the Super Bowl. What? Oh, you mean you guys that always, you know, when you go through and say you guys suck and we say, well, we got five rings. Oh, those don't count. Well, at least when we go to the Super Bowl, at least when we go, we win. Can't say the same about you guys. So we'll see. Michael Anthony wants to go and get basically get a crew together to do New York City, week one, and if, if, if I go, it would be the Italian sub. That would be easy. Wouldn't need to pack a whole lot. Wouldn't need to take all the gear. Although, we would still need Joe Wings. That, that's the hard part. We could cook them the day before. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But what game do you want to go to? And I'm trying to think about which one I want to go to in Dallas. Hey, I have a good idea. I'll talk to my about it. But what if... I just put the belt on the line against my shoes this year. Okay. Oh, Lordy. Not the belt. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That belt has caused more no, 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 no. heart just, palpitations just, just for me. This between my shoes and this year. I ain't, I ain't doing football. No, no. Look, Cop Pizzle already said, <laughs> Geek, are you ready for week one? Look, don't bring up that damn belt. Good God. People get triggered about that damn belt. Well, the other person, the man that gets triggered by it, has a version of it himself. <laughs> so like, yeah, but it's not the original Michael Anthony Fitness reaction belt. All right, I'm packed up now. I'm going to go back here, take me a shower, and I'm going to go get ready to go to bed. But I'll have some final thoughts for you guys uh, when I'm back over there. Um, you know, my fireside chat without a fire. But I tell you what we will be doing here. With all the red bricks we have out there, we're going to be making a fire pit here. Yeah. We're going to have the Red Brick House, Red Brick Fire Pit, so we can go out there and do our fireside chat for you guys. Oh, yeah. Well, we're definitely going to have a smoker out here. All right, good people. I'm going to see you later. Peace.